Well hello everyone and welcome to the plot tour at the end of March. Hope everyone's keeping well and as usual we're kicking off with the rhubarb. The forced rhubarb at the front here has been harvested and gave us three pounds of lovely red sweet rhubarb and as you can see from looking at what's left I didn't take that much of it but I still won't harvest from that front crown this year. No need really because there's so many other <laughs> crowns of rhubarb. So the wallflowers are looking good. This one that's been out for about a month is, <laughs> is hardly uh, encouraging the rest really. They've taken their time. So we've got tulips down the front here, which hopefully will get high enough to be seen over the picket fence. Some daffodils there. I've moved in a couple of lavenders from elsewhere, which will become apparent later on. And here's the strawberry bed, looking very much as it was. It's waiting there to spring into life. And here is our fallow bed. That's waiting to have um, courgettes in it, so it's got a bit of a wait still to go. The fruit bushes have been coming along nicely. They're uh, uh, looking at last year's uh, March video, they're ahead of the game. So we haven't any, no sign of anything like big bud or nasty stuff like that. So the carrot bath has had its first sowing of uh, carrots. So we're just going to try and stagger the uh, sowings this time. So blueberries all prepped and ready. So we've got the first five tubs of potatoes done. First early variety called Elfie. Never done that one before, but be interesting to see how that goes. So just later on, when we see the uh, signs of them appearing at the top, we'll just put some straw to finish off, and that'll be that. So another moved lavender. So the blue uh, blueberries are um, three different varieties which are supposed to be staggered, and they always get sold as um, encouraging the other to uh, cross-pollinate and that sort of thing but I think if they don't um, blossom at the same time there won't be any cross-pollination so I'll be keeping an eye on that. Garlic looking grand. I'm very pleased with that so far I'm hoping for a good garlic year. So these bell cloches have got turnips and radishes in them and they're germinating. There's cover crops in there so got our beds prepped and ready. Onions are doing a little bit better. They're looking more like spring onions but we're hoping that they're actually going to come to something. They're running out of time because we're going to need that bed in uh, was the end of June so they're gonna to have to start swelling up soon so we got just uh, cover crops again just giving the keeping the living root in the ground so a good old peach peregrine lots of signs of leafage but no signs of any blossom thus far unlike the pluot over there which I will be getting to So oh, the cherry tree that was moved, lots of uh, budding going on here at the wrong level. I don't really want any branches down there, I want it a little bit higher up than that. And the tulips at the front of the shed, they're all up and the one from last year is up as well. I have to turf that one out. And the, the daffodils that were out this time last month are still out. They're putting on a good display. So the rosemary's flowering. So I've done a bit of a moving around here. So we've got some lupins that have moved over, which were ousted from over there beside the eryngium. And I've taken the membrane away. So uh, these shrubs are gonna have a chance to just expand. And the globe artichoke, I don't, I don't think it was too happy about the fact that uh, it discovered that it had a rather limited scope 
when it was trying to grow a little bit bigger. Oh, the Waldo, the uh, thornless blackberry is uh, doing rather nicely. I haven't seen any uh, signs of the uh, solitary bees coming out, but there are actually some around. So no signs of any frogs or newts or anything nice like that in the pond, maybe this year. So there's another moved lavender. So little daffodils. Some very smelly hyacinths. Another moved lavender. So the clematis up in the back there is a little bit bigger than it was last year. It's taking its time. So here we are with a pluot, absolutely covered in blossom. And we did actually do some uh, brush cross-pollination, but there's, there's a lot of, uh, has been a lot of um, pollinators around, hoverflies and bees, bumblebees. As in fact, there will be a little bee on the uh, thumbnail of this video that was on the pluot blossom. So the raspberries are certainly showing some signs. Strawberries should be good this year. All of the uh, plum super columns have got some signs of life on them. Oh, I need to have a quick look at the, uh, as the garlic over here is doing rather well. And I've moved this pot here because it was hiding the Gertrude Jekyll um, rose, which uh, probably wasn't appreciating the shade. And the red love is, um, that's coming out as well. Hopefully the blossom will still be uh, lasting long enough to be in the next video. And we've got the uh, clematis down here. That's going great. So this is the sweet corn and parsnip bed. Lifted all the parsnips now. So that'll be getting ready for this year's sowing. So another fallow bed, cover crops and fallow beds, all getting ready, warming up the soil for this year. So this is the bed that's been getting attacked. All those uh, lavenders are now lifted. We're going to be putting an avenue of pinks in, which hopefully won't be joining together like the lavenders were doing. So the pear is looking great. We only had one bud on it last year, so it's uh, got a lot more now. Couldn't really cross-pollinate that single bud last year, but uh, hopefully there'll be some pollination this year. So all the fruit trees, this uh, Victoria plum here, got some signs of life on them. Whether they'll give us any fruit is another matter. So the Glencoe raspberry, that's going well. It seems to have survived the move. We got a damson and a gauge. And the espalier apple trees. And back round to the rhubarb bed. So this crown's here. So this one's been the best performer, Fulton Strawberry. Surprise. But these two here, lagging behind somewhat. So there we are. The end of another tour, another month. And I will catch you next month. Bye for now.